I said this to you in my opening, there's a high standard for public servants in New Jersey. There's an even higher standard for police officers, and an even higher standard for that for chiefs of police. You heard testimony from one witness from the prosecutor's office, Detective Woodware. Just like to review a couple of things that Detective Woodware told us, both through his testimony and through his report. He didn't interview the chief. He didn't think it was necessary. You know why he didn't interview the, interview the chief? Because he took Business Administrator Rogers' word for it that what the chief was doing was appropriate. I submit to you that it's questionable whether the prosecutor's office should have done that, but let's put that aside for a minute. The central issue you need to take from that is that Business Administrator Rogers was not being straight with the prosecutor's office. He said, I have no issue with this. I have no issue with the chief working all these jobs during the week. In his deposition testimony, he told me something different. On the stand, he told you something different. He thought he was going to come in and save the day for the town. He was locked in to what he said in his deposition testimony. His deposition testimony, and I'll read it to you because Mr. Davis referenced it. This was right into the record. I asked Business Administrator Rogers, just so we're clear, it's your understanding that if Chief Dinnitz was working an extra duty job back in 2014, it would be your expectation that he would have taken vacation time or personal time to do so, correct? Answer, correct. Question, because it would have been inappropriate for him to work an extra duty job while also being assigned to perform his duties as police chief during the day, correct? Answer, yeah, that's correct. We also have the email from the chief of police. I think it's exhibit P15. Morristown Green.